Hello, everyone, and welcome. Does this guy not know how to look at a camera? Everything he's saying, he's not looking in the right direction. He's looking off screen. And he's obviously reading a teleprompter because that's all these guys know how to do. I'm nothing but content for him, and I'm furious he's got on this show. We spent a lot of time really tracking down the right kind of lace to really make that outfit and match the original figure that we had in hand as closely as possible. <laughs> so now they're bragging on their meticulous research, meticulous research for this dress. Oh, it's so exact, we got it right. But you can see that they didn't get it right. Stan Solo got it right. Stan Solo got it dead to rights. God, this PR spin, it's like, oh, all the meticulous research. And you can literally put two photos together and see they just grabbed some budget lace from somewhere, probably got a really good deal on that roll of material. And if they did meticulously research and create a custom pattern, why is it so wrong? It's tote. Uh, so we've got him in a, in a great look for him. He's an imposing foe for Indy. He is, of course, the German mechanic. <laughs> So the retro figure line is going to be packed with the most infamous peg warmers of the original Kenner Indiana Jones line. The mechanic and tote, if they just had the swordsman in there, it would be the trifecta of peg warming. So of course we're talking about Belloc. Oh my God. Again? <laughs> Ceremonial Belloc in the mail away in the 1980s, fine. Ceremonial Belloc again in the 2008 line, which you've heard my comments from in Last Hurrah. Ceremonial Belloc in the six inch adventure series line as well. And now Ceremonial Belloc again in the retro series, even though they had normal Belloc they could have made, which we really desperately need more normal Bellocs. Any other Belloc at this point would be more welcome and more useful for a collection. Pith Helmet Belloc from Peru, Belloc in the Panama hat with the German submachine gun. Those would be awesome. Even the dig site Belloc that was Kenner's original figure would be great. But no, Hasbro saw ceremonial Belloc again and got hard. So dapper. Yes, he is. And he comes with a bunch of accessories. Pretty sure you're going to lose your head over this next one. I wrote that joke. Uh, it's Walter Donovan. <laughs> it's Professor Indiana Jones. <laughs> Indy wears a slightly different suit in that scene, uh, suit and tie in that scene. Oh, rats. I can totally understand and get behind Donovan because he's never been made into a figure before and he's a villain and this line needs some decent, versatile villains, although I would argue that Colonel Vogel would be better, whatever. But you're gonna bookend that rather blah figure that's really only for hardcore Indiana Jones collectors. You're gonna bookend that figure with two versions of Harrison Ford just in like dress suits. And that's not nothing. At the same time, it's not much. Down the pipeline to things that, that we aren't ready to show you product on yet. So first, uh, of course. So first, uh, of course. Indiana Jones in his unique and iconic look from the end of, of Temple of Doom. You can't have Temple of Doom without Indy's heroic sidekick. That's right, short round. A tuxedo on one side and a professor's tweed suit on the other? You guys thought that was a good idea while kicking the can for the Temple of Doom indie and short round to the next wave? <laughs> really? Like, you got a Temple of Doom figure in here in a tuxedo that very few people were probably thinking about really wanting, again, hardcore collector figure, just like Donovan and just like Professor Jones. You don't bring in Henry Jones, you know, because why would you do that? And, and then on top of that, you've got two of the most action-packed figures possible, Temple of Doom, Indy, and Short Round, which this line desperately needs an infusion of adrenaline. That would be the adrenaline hit. Nope, you've, you've kicked those off. We'll, we'll, we'll get to those later, if you get to it later. This right here is a 
This is a college course in boring. This one's, this one's really fun. Is he though? No, he's not. I don't care how big an Indiana Jones fan you are, and you're not gonna find many bigger than me, but let me tell you, that is for a diehard collector only. And they know it because they're putting a shield with him that he never took out of that tomb, it was never an accessory for that figure, and they've got him holding it like he's in an action pose because they are desperate to make this figure interesting to people. I don't need a shield to take you out. Trust me, you're gonna wish you had one. A unique extending? and retracting feature. Am I really staring at this? Like, look, don't get me wrong. I think it's great that they're trying to make Indiana Jones toys for kids. Like, I, I don't know how much interest a kid would have in an 80 year old man, honestly, but I'm glad that they're trying to give kids something to get attached to in this merchandise. But there's nothing in that toy that says anything to me but party blower. I don't know of a self-respecting kid that would want that. They might as well just go get a jump rope and use that instead. It would be more credible and cheaper, probably. God, that is, that is Mickey Mouse. Like that is, ugh. Closely mimics an actual whip. It's very safe though. Closely mimics an actual whip. Mimics an actual whip? Did he really just say that? I hate him with all my heart. Yeah. <laughs> like, I know these guys are useless, but do they have to call themselves out on it? I mean, this mimics an actual whip. <laughs> God almighty. Oh, that's, it. that's a lot of fun, yeah. I know, there we go, whoa! That's a whip.